Hello folks, thanks for tuning back into the Video Gadgets Journal once again. And in this video, I'm going to revisit an issue that has come up before in my videos and I have addressed, but I seem to be getting a lot of comments about the problem in particular recently. And I think it's because more people are using Airshow again because it's now readily accessible and 061 seems to be the version that's going to be fixed and be around for quite a while. So I feel as if a refresh of this fixed video will help. So what problem am I talking about? Well, let's have a look at it. I've done a screen recording and saved it to my photos, but the problem is when I try and play it back, let's have a look at what happens. If I just play it back without changing any of the timeline, it will work properly. However, if you look at the timeline at the bottom, you will see that it only shows one thumbnail and if I try and scrub the tracks, so I move forwards and backwards, you will see that it gets all distorted and it looks horrible and it never really works properly. And a lot of people have been complaining about this in my videos, that the playback quality is terrible and I can edit the videos. Fortunately though, there is a fix for this. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. The problem with the videos is mostly with the way Airshow actually stores your video. It saves it in quite a high quality format. That's bitrate, frame rate, and 1080p. And I think the codecs that are on your iOS device just don't handle it very well. So what we need to do is convert that video that Airshow creates and put it into something that it's a lot more friendly for iOS devices to play. And you do that by simply importing the video into a video player and then export it without making any changes whatsoever. And you can do that with many video editors, but the one I recommend is Video Joiner and trimmer because it's free and very easy to use and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So once you've downloaded the application what you can do is open it then you want to import a file into video joiner and trimmer. You do that by pressing on the plus button then choosing video then select your airshow video which in this case is right here. Bring it in and again if you'll notice at the top once we've imported it we can see that the timeline looks a bit dodgy and if I try and scrub on it, go forwards and backwards, it's not really doing anything that's going to be helpful for editing. So this is where we simply leave it alone and just export it again out by tapping on the share button in the top right hand corner, saving it to the photo gallery and that should do the render process. Now this video is very short, it's only about 30 seconds, so the rendering process is very quick. But once it has completed, that should put a duplicate video into my photo gallery, which it has done. And now, if we go back to my videos, watch this. Let's just get back to the camera roll. So we have two versions. That's the old version of a video. This is a new version of a video. And if I play it, it will play normally. But you can see at the bottom now, the timeline is showing updates of the actual video playing and then if I scroll it up and down you can see on the video but it's tracking very nicely and there's no distortions or corruption of the file at all. So the good news is that when you do a recording on Airshow it never actually corrupts the video or anything it's just in a unfriendly video format for playing, playing back on your iOS device and actually I recommend doing exactly the same thing if you're going to copy the video to a PC one thing I always do when I copy my recordings to a PC is put it in a video editor and immediately export it out without changing anything just so that the video format is a lot more friendly for editing. Seems to be a very quirky air show thing. Anyway, I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, do pop them in the comments below. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.